Man, it's a beautiful day out here, beautiful morning, you know, enjoying life, live life, and you know, and don't live it for nobody else. Make sure you live it for yourself, and as long as you living it for yourself, the people around you will benefit from it, trust me. So today, we're going to talk about should you pay your driver percentage or should you pay him a certain cent per mile? You know, so should you pay your driver a certain percentage per load that they haul or should you pay them a certain cent per mile? So before I roll off in that content, I was just sitting back thinking and I start thinking about taxes because I haven't filed my taxes yet this year. And also, I just got off the phone with a gentleman that told me that he just got his tax refund check and that he was about to invest his tax refund check into himself, into his actual business that he's about to launch. So I just want to pretty much put this video out to you guys, man, and tell you guys, man, taxes and my thoughts on taxes. So when it comes to taxes, this world is designed for entrepreneurs and business owners. You know, we could talk about employment tax. We could talk about sales tax. We could talk about all of this crazy stuff, you know, when it comes to taxes out here. A lot of people out here in this world wait until tax season then they get a few thousand dollars back you guys get a small percentage of money back of what you had basically had to give up in the year prior you know so in 2019 some of you guys pay thousands and thousands of dollars in taxes you know but you're only going to get a small percentage back in that refund check so to me right there it's just letting me know that this world is not designed for nine to five, you know, workers, you know, so it's designed for you to be an entrepreneur. But we all know that the world can't go if we don't have employees, you know, so I've been an employee pretty much uh, my entire life, you know, especially my working life. Um, I'm just now becoming a full time entrepreneur. April 2018 was the day I got out the military and that was my cutoff date for me being an employee. Ever since then, I've been a business owner and an entrepreneur, you know? So, um, man, I just want to talk about taxes and tell you guys, man, you guys are going to get a bulk of money back. Man, go invest that money into yourself. Go invest that money into your business. Go invest that money into something that's going to appreciate and value some real estate or something that's going to bring you value. You know, don't go out and just spend that money on stuff that don't mean uh, nothing in to you or to your family, basically. You know, so a lot of people in this world get so caught up in taxes and, oh man, I'm about to get this refund check. I'm about to go on this vacation or I'm about to go, you know, buy these shoes, go buy, you know, uh, all of this stuff that really don't matter. You know, take that money, go invest in it to yourself, go invest in it to your business, go invest in it in something that's going to bring you guys value out here because at the end of the day taxes ain't nothing but a big scam you know you guys just got off of work think about this in your work day you just got off of work you just been tax employment tax you just went to pump some gas now you're uh being taxed for sales tax on the uh actual um you know why at the actual gas island fuel island whatever you want to call it gas pump <laughs> you just been taxed on that then you go inside and go get you something to drink or you go inside and go get you some candy or a snack now you're being taxed on that sales tax too so man property tax man taxes just taxing taxes is just a big scam out here for you guys man so don't get so caught up on these big on, uh refund checks and waiting for taxes man I'm going to tell you guys, man, I don't even want to file my taxes because I don't want to pay any money. But of course, the whole goal as being a business owner and entrepreneur is to not pay taxes anyway. So in the past two years, I haven't ha had to pay any taxes when it comes to business, you know, and that's a good thing just because I was able to deduct and write off a lot of business expenses. And uh, that's just how the world is designed. You know, a lot of you guys could go. Uh, read about or watch videos about Jeff Bezos, you know, making billions of dollars, but never and but don't pay taxes, you know. So how how do you guys get to that point when you don't have to pay taxes, but you can maximize your annual revenue and see more money throughout the year? 
is to become a business owner and entrepreneur, you know? So let's go ahead and roll off into this content real quick. And basically, I just want to talk to you guys and tell you guys um, how I pay my drivers and what I would recommend, you know? So you have two ways of paying your driver. You could pay them a certain cent per mile, or you could pay them a, a certain percentage per load you know, that they actually haul. So for me, I pay my drivers a percentage. You know, I don't pay them a certain cent per mile. And the reason why I pay them an actual percentage is because I believe that they can make more money, you know, off the percentage than off of per mile, you know. And the reason why I say that is because pretty much numbers don't lie to me. I'm a numbers guy and I analyze, you know, my financial situation. So, you want to put yourself in a win-win and you want to put your driver in a win-win. You want your driver to maximize his profit so he's motivated to maximize your profit. You know, so let's just break it down on an example. I get these loads quite often. A thousand dollar loads and that going to anywhere from about 250 miles to 300 miles. So let's just say I pay my driver 25% of the load and I pay him and we get that load for a thousand dollars. Basically, the driver will make $250 that day for hauling a load for 250 miles. What if I pay my driver 50 cent a mile? You know, I say a good cent per mile would be about 50 to 60 cent per mile. Uh, there's still some companies out here that's just paying 30 cent, 30 some cent a mile, 40 some cent a mile. So I think about 50 to 60 cent a mile. Uh, if we're talking cent per mile would be a good uh, cent per mile, you know, so some of you guys out there that's running uh, a certain cent per mile, you know, leave a comment below and let us know what is the actual good uh, cent per mile, you know, that you guys think. So let's just say an example of 50 cent a mile going 250 miles, that's one hundred and twenty five dollars. So the so the person that's making 50 cent a mile versus the person that's getting paid 25 percent of the load. This guy over here that just got 25% of the load just made double of what this guy just made over here that just got paid 50 cent a mile. He got paid $125. And this guy over here that got paid 25% of the load just made $250. So as a business owner, of course, it's all about maximizing your profit too. So some of you guys might say, well, me being a business owner, I will pay my driver 50 cent a mile because that mean I just made me another 125. You can look at it that way too, and that's perfectly fine, but I don't look at it that way. You know, I look at it, how can it be a win-win on my end and a win-win on my driver's end? If my driver stays motivated, because what is going to motivate people out here is money, you know? So I'm going to motivate my driver by making sure I'm able to maximize his pocket and then he's going to be motivated enough to keep that truck rolling to maximize my pocket, you know? So I just believe paying your driver a, per, uh, a percentage per load um, is the best bet, you know, versus paying them a certain uh, cent per mile because sometimes your driver might not get that many miles during the week. So if you're not getting that many miles during the week, um, you're not going to be able to pay your driver a good paycheck. The whole goal as a, a business owner, especially of a trucking company, to me, my goal is to make sure I'm able to pay my driver as, you know, a lot of money every week. Because if I'm able to pay my driver a lot of money every week, that mean that, you know, I made good money that week too, you know? So that's the whole goal. So sometimes you guys out there that's getting paid a certain cent per mile, you guys might not get, a lot of miles that week so your paycheck won't be that big but i can guarantee you especially if you are hauling loads that are worth it and you guys are getting good loads that um you know that 25 percent 30 percent or whatever of the load man you guys are going to see way more money out there and i'm talking to the drivers right now you guys are going to see way more money getting paid by a percentage versus the cent per mile and that's just my opinion you know but of course it all could be different too sometimes you know maybe it might balance out you know i was just giving you guys an example on the type of loads that i like to haul thousand dollar loads 250 300 miles on a day-to-day -day base 
you know, stuff like that, my drivers will see more money on a percentage, you know? So, hey man, if you guys have any questions out there, hit me up on my email, broker at managetrans.com. Go visit my website, www.extraordinarymovement.com. Go get your 30 day free trial with DAT. Go sign up with Tash Trans and Financial Services. If you guys are looking for a factoring service and remember next weekend is me and my business partners first live freight dispatcher workshop and entrepreneurship workshop in orlando florida if you guys haven't signed up feel free to sign up all the way up until i believe we're going to cut it off on sunday or monday you know so if you guys have any questions about that hit me up on my email out there man ceo commit execute and be obsessed everybody be great out there